I'm going to be simulating the 2024 playoffs, but with the worst teams. You heard of the playoffs before, but now we have the Wayoffs. Again, very original name, I know. Now, we did this last year in NHL 23 with the worst teams. Every single team that missed the playoffs will now be making it. And the matchups are set here, boys, in NHL 24. We have San Jose and St. Louis, Calgary and Anaheim, Seattle, Arizona, Minnesota, and Chicago. And in the East, we have the Red Wings versus the Blue Jackets, Philly versus Ottawa, Buffalo versus New Jersey, and then finally Pittsburgh versus Montreal. The NHL wayoffs are set. Here are our matchups. We are going to go ahead and simulate to see who goes on and wins the trophy for the best of the worst teams in the NHL this season. But before we do so, if you guys do enjoy videos like this, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications so you don't miss a single live stream or video that I put out. Also, check out our merch. The link is in the description. No surprise here as the St. Louis Blues are going to dominate San Jose in game number one, five to two. Arizona is going to end up stealing game one over Seattle, three to two. The Red Wings are going to pretty much dominate Columbus in game number one, six to three. The Devils are healthy and they are one of the favorites to win the Stanley Cup. They also went up 1-0 over Buffalo. Calgary is going to take game one, two to one over Anaheim. Minnesota is going to shut out Chicago, two to nothing in game one. The Ottawa Senators are going to go up one nothing over the Philadelphia Flyers. And finally, Pittsburgh is going to win game one over Montreal, four to three. San Jose is going to tie up their series with the St. Louis Blues at one apiece. Arizona is going to absolutely dominate Seattle 6-2 and take a 2-0 series lead. The Red Wings are going to win an absolute barn burner 8-5 here in game number 2 and take a 2-0 series lead over Columbus. New Jersey also is going to go up 2-0 over Buffalo. Calgary is going to go up 2-0 over the Anaheim Ducks after dominating them 6-2. Surprisingly enough, surprisingly enough, Chicago is actually going to tie up their series with Minnesota. Ottawa is going to take a 2-0 series lead over the Flyers after a 2-1 victory. Pittsburgh is pretty much going to dominate Montreal 7-3 here in game number 2. San Jose is going to put up 7 goals in game number 3 over the Blues. And the Arizona Arizona Coyotes are going to go up 3-0 over the Seattle Kraken on the verge of sweeping them in the very first round, even though technically they're not even a hockey team anymore. Columbus is going to win their first game of the series with Detroit as Johnny Hockey will score the overtime winner. The Devils are going to go up 3-0 over Buffalo as Timo Meyer will score the overtime winner on Devin Levi. Anaheim is going to win their first game of the series 5-4 with Calgary, even though they gave up 46 shots. The Blackhawks are going to go up 2-1 over the Minnesota Wild. The Flyers are currently on the verge of being swept by the Ottawa Senators as they go up 3-0. Pittsburgh also is going to go up 3-0 over the Montreal Canadiens as Montreal really does not stand a chance at all. Slavkovsky got a goal in the third, but they're going to lose their third straight and now are on the verge of being swept. St. Louis is going to dominate San Jose and tie up their series at two apiece. And funny enough, the team, the only team in this video that's no longer an NHL team is the Arizona Coyotes, and they are first to advance to the second round. Columbus is going to tie up their series at two apiece with the Red Wings. The Devils pretty much got dominated by the Buffalo Sabres, so Buffalo will live to fight another day. The Anaheim Ducks are going to tie up their series with the Calgary Flames at two games apiece. Chicago is going to dominate Minnesota. Minnesota and take a 3-1 series lead. Philly is going to live to fight another day off an Owen Tippett overtime winner on UC Corpusalo. Is it UC Corpusalo? I think his name is. I honestly could be wrong about that, but I don't even care. And the Pittsburgh Penguins have advanced to round number two after sweeping the Montreal Canadiens. St. Louis is going to go up 3-2 over the San Jose Sharks. Detroit is going to shut out Columbus and go up in their series as well. Surprisingly, Buffalo is going to shut out the Devils and force a game six. Anaheim is going to go up 3-2 in their series with Calgary. Minnesota will force a game six with the Blackhawks after dominating them 5-1. And the Ottawa Senators are off to round number two after beating Philly 9-1 in the closeout game. I believe they beat them in five games as well. 
This series was not really remotely close. And the St. Louis Blues are going to eliminate the San Jose Sharks in six games in round number one. And Detroit will eliminate Columbus also in six games after shutting them out two to nothing. The Sabres are going to force a game seven back on home ice with the New Jersey Devils after beating them three to two. The Flames are also going to force a game seven with Anaheim as well as Minnesota after shutting out the Blackhawks one to nothing. A very boring playoff game I'm willing to bet. And after an absolutely barn burning game between the Devils and Buffalo in game seven, Buffalo is going to win eight to five. Anaheim Anaheim is going to dominate Calgary in game seven, five to one, as they are off to round number two. And somehow the Chicago Blackhawks are off to round number two after beating Minnesota in game seven, five to one. And here we are. We are in the second round of the playoffs. We have St. Louis and Anaheim, Chicago and Arizona, the Red Wings and the Senators, and then finally Buffalo and Pittsburgh. Two very good matchups, actually four very good matchups as we have our semifinals all set. Who will advance to the conference? finals st louis is going to squeak out a game one victory two to one over the ducks chicago is going to defeat arizona four to two in game number one the red wings are going to steal game number one over ottawa two to one pittsburgh is going to end up staying undefeated as they defeat buffalo six to four Evgeny Malkin got a huge goal in the third period. St. Louis is going to go up 2-0 in their series with the Ducks. Arizona will tie up their series with Chicago. Detroit is also going to take game number two, 3-2 over Ottawa. Pittsburgh is going to lose a very close game to Buffalo. They're first in the entire playoff run, 2-1 as the Sabres are going to tie up the series. Anaheim is going to put up eight goals in game number three and finally get their first win of the series. Arizona is going to go up two to one over Chicago after dominating them five to one in game number three. Ottawa is finally going to win their first game of the series with the Red Wings four to one. Surprisingly, Buffalo is going to shut out the Pens and take a 2-1 series lead. Are you kidding me? Buffalo back in the playoffs are an absolute unit. St. Louis is going to take a 3-1 series lead over the Ducks and now are one win away from the conference finals. Chicago is going to tie up their series at two apiece with the Coyotes after a 4-2 victory. The Red Wings are going to take a 3-1 series lead over the Ottawa Senators. And the Buffalo Sabres are going to go up 3-1 over Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh literally is falling apart after getting shut out 2-0. Anaheim is going to live to fight another day, forcing a Game 6 after a 7-4 victory. Arizona is going to take a 3-2 series lead over the Blackhawks. Ottawa is going to force a Game 6 back on home ice after winning 6-4. This game would not even be close pittsburgh will force a game six after dominating seven to three and it looks like the anaheim ducks are gonna force a game seven back in st louis after beating them two to nothing in game number six as well as the blackhawks will also force a game seven back on home ice with arizona and the detroit red wings are off to round number three after beating ottawa in six games in game six it was three to two and the pittsburgh penguins are gonna force a game seven with the buffalo sabers after beating them six to three as they're gonna fight to stay alive for another day and the anaheim ducks are gonna beat st louis four to two in game seven also in st louis to go on to to the conference finals for the first time since i believe 2015 when they got dominated by the chicago blackhawks regardless anaheim is a miracle team right now they beat st louis i honestly thought st louis would take care of business but maybe trevor zegers was just too damn good in this series as they are off to the conference finals and here we are in game seven arizona being up two to one we got a minute to go here as somebody just got thrown into the boards Murphy coming in. Chicago, there it is. Pitlick. Rebound is there. Chicago needs to tie it up. Empty net for them. Season on the line. Nick Schmaltz. Give it up to Clayton Keller. He's going to miss the wide open net. Are you kidding me, Keller? And there it is. There it is. Sean Dersey going to put home the empty netter as the Arizona Coyotes have made the conference finals. It is literally the miracle on ice. EA Sports knows they're not going to be a franchise any longer. So they said, screw it. They are a team of destiny looking to win the Stanley Cup for the first time and maybe the last time ever. And that will do it. The Arizona Coyotes have advanced to the conference finals for the first time since 2012 when they faced the LA Kings and unfortunately got dominated by them. I'm surprised Chicago made it to round two, honestly. 
I thought they were an easy sweep in round number one. Regardless, the Coyotes right now are a team of destiny looking for their first ever Stanley Cup and what could be their final Stanley Cup. Really the only Stanley Cup they'll ever win because they're no longer a franchise. And the Buffalo Sabres have done it. They have beaten the Pittsburgh Penguins in game seven, four to one, and now they are off to the conference finals. Even though they did blow a 3-1 series lead to the Pittsburgh Penguins, they clutched it up here in game seven on home ice, and they are gonna eliminate Sidney Crosby in the gang as Buffalo also, team that I did not think would be here have made it here. Pittsburgh was honestly my favorite coming into this video. I thought they had the best shot at winning the Stanley Cup, but unfortunately, they are out in round number two. And now here we are, four teams remaining, conference finals with the Ducks in Arizona, Detroit, and Buffalo. Four absolutely god-awful teams in the NHL this season, but they are competing for the best of the worst teams in the league for the way-off championships. So, let's see who's going to go on and make the Stanley Cup Finals. Arizona is going to take game number one, 4-2 to over Anaheim. Buffalo is going to win game one, 5-3 to over Detroit. Two huge goals in the third period by Dalene and Skinner will get the job done in game number one. Anaheim will absolutely dominate Arizona five to nothing in game number two can we please get a close game that i can hop into here it seems like almost every game is a blowout or not even close and buffalo is gonna go up two nothing over the red wings after a three two victory it was three one at one point anaheim is gonna dominate arizona four to nothing in game three this series has not been close i mean it's a five two game here in the third period can buffalo make it close and i can hop in six to two lucas raymond as the Red Wings are finally going to win their first game of the series as they defeat Buffalo 8-3 in game number three. Finally, we have a game. There it is, Arizona going up 2-1 over Anaheim. Obviously trying to tie the series at two apiece. This game remains close. I will hop in at the end here. All right, here we are in the college hockey rink. Arizona holding on to a 2-1 lead as they are trying to tie up the series at two. We have 140 remaining in the third period. Can they get it done? Nick, oh my God, right over to Clayton Keller. Nick Schmaltz had a nice pass there. As overall, the series has been much of blowouts, but here in game number three, or no, game number four, they have a very tight one as the whiteout is going on in Arizona. They still have their old jerseys. Are you kidding me, EA? You didn't even bother to update the jerseys for Arizona in the crowd. My God, good riddance on this franchise. I swear to God. McTavish coming in. Zegras, Zegras trying to tie it up, Trevor. And Veg Melka will make the save. 23 seconds remaining. I don't know what kind of camera angle we are getting of everybody's feet that are sitting in the chairs. What on earth was that? 22 seconds to go in the third. Gudis from the point gets blocked. Schmaltz skating out. Anaheim does not have. Oh, they do have an empty net. Misses it, though. Cam Fowler, one last rush. 10 seconds to go, McTavish. Mason McTavish, and he pull off something magical. Horrible turnover, Barrett Hayton skates it out, and Nick Schmaltz, oh my God, he rung that off the bar. It does not even matter, as the Coyotes are gonna tie up this series at two apiece. I see the absolute ripper that Nick Schmaltz had here. From outside of the blue line, he rips it on the empty net. Could have just put it on the ice and laid an egg in there, honestly. It would have been pretty easy from that far out. He absolutely rips it, trying to go bar down on the empty net, and it, it's just, it absolutely dinks out. I mean, holy hell. I'm not going to lie, a few days ago, I had a puck get stuck to the crossbar in EASHL, so I'm glad to see the physics are working here, EA. And it looks like the Buffalo Sabres are going to take a 3-1 series lead over the Red Wings as they defeat them 2-0 in game number four. All right, the punishment ha- All right, here comes the punishment. I have to sit through an overtime period with two computers going back and forth. Obviously, the Ducks in Arizona are tied up at two apiece here in the series. Who is going to take a 3-2 series lead and be one win away from the Stanley Cup Finals? Both of these teams are not going to sniff a Finals, especially Arizona, considering they're literally gone now. They are no longer a franchise. I'm honestly rooting for the Coyotes here. Troy Terry coming in. Great save again, as I would like to see them win a Stanley Cup here because they're not going to get a shot to as we do this next season. There will be no Arizona in the league. Good hit there by Ryan Gudis. Ryan Gudis? Ratko Gudis. There we go. I don't know why I said Ryan. Trevor Zegers, cover man coming in. Troy Terry. McTavish. Great save by Veg Melka. 
as we could be here a while. But I mean, you already know the rules. I'm only going to sit through one of these overtime periods. I cannot do multiple. If I did that, I'd probably end up going crazy. So hopefully somebody ends it here. Trevor Zegers on the four check. On the four check, McTavish could not bury it in front of the net again. Back to the point. Anaheim is all over the Coyotes looking for the goal on home ice. Crowd is going crazy. Probably not, but who knows? McTavish over to Fowler. Troy Terry. No, he can't get it to go. Back to the point. Full pressure for Anaheim. McTavish again. McTavish down. Oh, come on, boys. Come on, somebody end it. They're, they, you guys have full pressure. How do you not get a good grade A scoring chance? Absolutely horrible for checking by Trevor Seacrest. As Arizona's going to skate it out. And Gudis absolutely levels Clayton Keller on the boards. He put him down. McTavish coming in. Cross crease. Doesn't get to go. Valimaki. Austin Krause. What do you got, brother? Show me something here. Show me something. I desperately need somebody to score here. Back to the point. Got to skate in. Falamaki gets a weak shot. I mean, he did have no energy, so that's kind of to be expected. Gudis moves it up to Kalorn. Alex Kalorn gets by the defender. Cross crease back. Oh, my God. Alex Kalorn. How did you not bear that? In front for Toronto. Anaheim all over Arizona. How did Alex Kalorn not bury that two on O they basically had? That was crazy. That should have been an easy goal. Literally an easy victory. Maselli coming in. That almost went in. I mean, if it maybe hit the net, that would have been a positive. The boys are humming. The boys are humming. Matrano on the four check. He wins that battle. Back to the point. Big battle win. In the middle, Strom. Another turnover. Shooting on net. Vegmelka is down. Nobody's going after the puck for some reason. What is going on, EA Sports? Explain yourself. Ryan Strom behind the net. Kalorn again. He wants revenge. Alex Kalorn over Silverberg. Again, not the greatest shot in the world. I haven't seen a chance that could go in yet besides that 2 on 0, which Kalorn absolutely busted all over. Pause. A minute remaining in overtime. Not a lot of time left here. Somebody has got to get the job done. Or Le Pasta is out of here. Oh, yeah. Boyd. Boyd. Oh, what a poke check by John Gibson. Keeping Anaheim in it. 20 seconds to go. Another great save. One last rush for the Anaheim Ducks. Can they score? Come on, boys. Give me. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. What is, what is Jones doing? Carlson. And there it is. Leo Carlson takes a 3-2 series lead for the Anaheim Ducks. I have no idea how that even went in. The angle had to have been literally impossible. But Leo Carlson gets it done. As the Ducks now are one win away from the conference finals. I guess Leo Carlson is going to pull a full Sidney Crosby of the Olympics. Oh my god, Veg Melka, brother, you have to have that. There is no excuse for that puck to go in. That's horrible. That is a horrible goal to give up in overtime. And it looks like the Red Wings are going to force a game six back in Buffalo as they defeat the Sabres one to nothing. And they shut them out. 40 shots on net and Vili Huso saves them all. And the Coyotes are not done yet. They shut out Anaheim four to nothing in game six and force a game seven. And we have a very tight game here in game number six. Red Wings trying to force a game seven. They're up three to two with a minute to go here in the third period. Can they clutch it up and can they force a game seven back on home ice? Or will Buffalo tie it up, force an overtime? Maybe Greenway coming in. Billy Huso is going to cover that puck up. Tage Thompson leading the NHL in scoring 24 points in the playoffs. Trevor Zegers was actually number two there. That's kind of funny considering how bad he was in real life. But regardless, we got like 20 seconds remaining. 25 to go. Mo Sider gets it out. Patrick Kane, where are you going? Where is Patrick Kane going? Horrible turnover. That might have just costed them. Oh, my God. Get it out, Larkin. Skate that puck out, brother. No empty net for Buffalo. Larkin gets laid out like an absolute... Oh, Skinner. Jeff Skinner. Skinner gone. What is? What on earth was Jeff Skinner doing there? 10 seconds to go. He's trying to pull out a between the legs to tie up the game. Doesn't matter. We're going to game seven, baby. As the Red Wings are going to force it back on home ice. And the winner will go to the conference finals. And the Arizona Coyotes have done it. They are off to the Stanley Cup finals. I have no idea how. But they are going to defeat Anaheim 4-1 in game 7. The game was not really close. The Coyotes really controlled it. And now they are advancing to the Stanley Cup finals. For the first time in their franchise's history. As in their final season together. The miracle season. Can they pull off a Cinderella run? Something you only see in March Madness. Is that Jarrett McCann? Who the hell is that? 
Number 22 on Arizona is going to come up. They don't even have a captain. That's how garbage of a franchise they are. They're, they're obviously not going to touch it. And here we go. Game 7 overtime in the conference finals. Winner moves on to the Stanley Cup finals. All tied up at four apiece. Both teams looking for their fourth win. Both teams looking for the fourth win of the series. Will Buffalo do it? Oh, there it is. Tate Thompson. Rebound. Alex Tuck couldn't get a hold of the puck. Dabrinkit getting bodied in the corner. What is new? I remember when my Ottawa Senators be a pro. Oh, my God. Dylan Larkin. Breakaway for Larkin. Can't get it to go. Devin Levi makes the miraculous save. As what a beautiful pass from Patty Kane to Dylan Larkin on the breakaway. But unfortunately, he got shut down by Devin Levi. You have a lot of time to go here in the overtime period. Oh, Kane. What a save by Levi. Body him. Body him. Body him to break it. Oh, my God. Devin Levi has to make it another great save. Keeping the Buffalo Sabres in the game right now. Oh, my God. Stop showing me the hits, leaders. Just go on with the play. Drop the goddamn puck, please, EA. Every, they do everything to slow down the game. I just want to see a good hockey game here. I don't want every second of commercials or whatever. The f I don't even know what you would call it. Come on now, give me a goal. Give me a nice highlight real goal. What am I kidding? The computers are not going to score a highlight real goal. This is NHL 24. It is probably going to be a stinker. Maybe a little greasy goal rebound. There it is. Skinner back to the point. Dallin over Bo Byram, who's still on Buffalo for some reason. Even though, actually, what am I saying? He got traded to Buffalo. Alex Tuck behind the neck. Tuck. Alexander Debrinkit. Is this Alexander his real name? I think it's got to be, right? Alex Debrinkit? Does it? Oh my God. I have no idea what that was. I'm just going to forget that even happened. We're moving along here. 10 minutes to go halfway through the overtime period. Please, I don't want to have to jump out of this. Please. I want this game decided when I'm in here. Jack Quinn over to uh, JJ. Quinn again. What are we doing? Can somebody please get a goal? I'm getting a little worried. 840 remaining in the overtime period. Obviously, the computers are not too great at offense and struggle to score goals, but that's okay. Gonna dump the puck in. All right, we got 7.30 to go. I'm getting more and more worried. My worry is increasing. There we go. Night oh my God, how does Mo Sider still have that puck? Three on two for the Detroit Red Wings. Raymond, great save by Devin Levi. All right, since it is game seven of the conference finals, I will stay in for two separate overtime periods. But I mean, no more than that because I do not want to be sitting here for 30, 40 minutes watching these guys play. But I will stay for another overtime period if needed. Hopefully, we will not need it. And somebody can bury it here in the final four minutes. Tyson Jost got bodied. Absolutely bodied on the boards there. All right, we got three minutes remaining here in the overtime period. I pray to God that somebody will score. Owen Power moving it up. Let's go, Zach Benson. We're working here, Zach Benson. Okay, Jeff Petrie's going to get it. Sprong, move it up. Daniel Sprong up to uh, David Perron. Over to Sprong. Sprong, there it is. Daniel Sprong sends the Detroit Red Wings to the conference finals or the Stanley Cup finals. What am I even saying? As they defeat the Buffalo Sabres in game seven. We had two awesome game seven series. And now the Stanley Cup Finals matchup is set. We got the Red Wings versus the goddamn Coyotes. I'm not even going to lie. I'm rooting for Arizona. I'm on their side. I want to see them win a Stanley Cup. Screw Detroit, honestly. Y'all blew it in the regular season. Should have made the playoffs and lost like seven in a row at one point. There was your season gone down the drain. Doesn't matter. As uh, Dylan Larkin going to come up to the trophy and obviously not touch it because everybody is really superstitious, just like Sidney Crosby. As let's take a look at our Stanley Cup Finals matchup. And here it is. Our Stanley Cup Final matchup is set. We got the Arizona Coyotes and the Detroit Red Wings. Who is going to go on and win the Stanley Cup and be the best of the worst teams in the entire NHL? The Red Wings are going to take game number one, two to one. Thankfully, Arizona is going to tie up the series after a 3-1 victory. Arizona is going to win 2-1 over the Red Wings. And the Arizona Coyotes are one win away from winning the Stanley Cup as they go up 3-1 over the Detroit Red Wings. What am I witnessing right now? The Coyotes right now are 1 minute and 50 seconds away from winning the Stanley Cup and beating the Red Wings in five games. They were up 4-3. They were up 4-0 in the game also. So they kind of blew a 4-0 lead almost. Two goals in the second, one in the third. And now we got a hockey game on our hands, folks. Oh, here we go. There we go. There we go. Over to Cooley. Logan Cooley gets robbed by James Reimer. 
is the starting goalie for the Red Wings. No Vili Huso. And there it is. The Stanley Cup waiting to be presented to the Arizona Coyotes for the first and last time in their franchise's history. Can they get it done? I literally do not believe what I'm witnessing. Lucas Raymond leading the uh, points race for the Red Wings. I don't even know who would end up winning the Conn Smythe for the Arizona Coyotes if they get it done. I have no idea. That is a massive face-off loss there. They needed that one. Get that puck. Uh oh, Dylan Larkin. They're going to pull their goalie. 15 seconds to go. Dylan Larkin. Nice D. Amazing D. 10 seconds to go. There's no net. Net, net is empty. Net is empty. Put it home. Patrick Kane, six seconds. Uh-oh. Showtime, Patty Kane. Showtime, Patty Kane turns it over. And that's going to do it. The Arizona Coyotes have won the Stanley Cup, beating the Red Wings in five games in the finals. It was not really that competitive. And in their final season in the NHL, before they move to Utah and are no longer a franchise, after missing the playoffs, they are going to go on and win the way off Stanley Cup playoff run. Are you kidding me? We got the way offs and the Arizona Coyotes literally won it. This is some storybook ending type shit for a team that really has had no success over the franchise's history. As Veg Melka will win the Conn Smythe, a 934 save percentage and a 208 GAA. I mean, hot goaltending was probably the only reason they would ever win the cup. Won four straight series, went to a game seven, and now are Stanley Cup champions. I literally cannot believe my eyes. I'm really witnessing the Arizona Coyotes win the Stanley Cup. This has got to be top five moments in past the video history. As Clayton Keller coming to lift it for the first time in his NHL career. As in their final season, the Coyotes have finally claimed best worst team in the entire NHL, which I mean, isn't the greatest thing to claim, but oh well, it doesn't matter. And that is gonna do it for this video, boys. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave some support on it. Check out our merch, the link is in the description. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, don't be silly, wrap your willy.